Hello world! There are basically two ways how to start learning Databricks. First option is to create a Databrick account with your cloud provider, which is free for 14 days, then you need to pay for it, but it gives you access to the full set of the features. And the second option, which is free forever, is to create something what is called Databricks Community Edition account, which gives you access to the limited number of the features, but in my opinion, you can still learn a lot even with that account. So today I'm going to show you how to proceed with the option number two. And before we'll jump on it, don't forget to subscribe because there is a lot of new cool content coming shortly. We are starting from the page databricks.com and depends when you are going to visit that page. It may look a bit different, but there will be always somewhere on that page. Try Databricks. In my case, this is on the right top side, so I just click it. And here I need to provide a couple of information. There will be no need to provide any kind of credit card, so don't worry about that. But there will be a need to provide a couple of basic information. So let me do that. First name, last name, email, I will change email. The one which I haven't used in the past to create the account. Then a company, my own and the title, I'm my boss. Uh, there is no need to mark that you would like to receive marketing communication regarding w Databricks services, so we can leave it and then we click continue. The next step is very important because Databricks encourage us to create account with the option number one, meaning with the cloud provider. We don't want to do that right now. Right now we are after the always free account and to do that, just over here we have get started with the community edition so that's what we want to click it's pretty much hidden or not maybe much hidden but not visible and then we will have some puzzles to do submit verification completed and i have the information to check my email to start your my free trial this is how email looks like welcome to the databricks community edition and we need to just verify the email address so we click this link where we need to set up the password for our account and we click reset password and we are all done we are already logged in we are already logged into the community edition databricks and that's how it looks like the most important is menu on the left where we have access to workspace catalog compute and workflows we will be explaining everything in the future movies so don't don't forget to subscribe workspace in short it's some it's a kind of our home directory where we will be creating our notebooks, meaning a place where we will write the code, catalog, that's where we are going to see our tables, compute we will use to create a cluster, so the computer, co computer power, and workflows, this is where we can schedule a notebooks, although in the Databricks Community Edition is not available, but that's okay, for the learning purposes, we still have a lot of possibilities to learn Databricks even without this. Okay. Once you will finish your work and you, you will be after logging back to that community edition, it will be enough if you Google Databricks community edition login and it's very easy to find a link. Nevertheless, I will put it under the video. If your password will not be saved by the browser, in my case it was safe, but if it will not be safe, then you will need to provide an email which you have used for the registration and password which you set up at the beginning. And then you just click sign in and you are back in the Databricks Community Edition account. Okay, that's it for today. Good luck with setting up your account. Don't forget to subscribe and see you soon.